So trash talking Charles looks like he's got him another victim inside of the war on gangs. Now y'all may remember when I was reporting all the stuff that trash talking Charles was getting it to with all the gang members and he said his whole goal was to lock up like a hundred and something or I don't know some big number of gang members he wanted to get locked up. Of course he got Soldier Boy's partner locked up. You know what I'm talking about some other people locked up and now he's got another member locked up. You know what I'm talking about it looks like trash talking Charles has actually got Brick Baby locked up with the feds and he actually explains how he did it you know what I'm talking about and I'll play that video right after the intro welcome back to Key Talk Media this is your host Key Talk check it out man alright I'm gonna get a shout out to the notification game Key Talk Game for rocking with me every single video if you listen to my voice right now go ahead and hit the notification bell so you get a notification every single time I drop a video anyways so of course Trash Talking Charles is back on his BS for the summer and not just on his BS for the summer but it looks like he don't, you know, he holds grudges he don't let nothing go now y'all may remember a while ago I do believe I actually reported on it where Brick Baby, the Los Angeles rapper, been doing a whole lot of interviews lately, uh, pretty much put a stack of money on his head. He went to Texas. I believe he went to Houston, Texas, but I think he maybe said he was at Fort Worth. Who knows? But anyways, he went to the great Lone Star state of Texas, put money on his head and put like a stack of money on top of his own head and said, hey, man, I got this 10K for Charleston Whitehead, pretty much putting a bounty on his head, which is obviously illegal. And not only is it illegal, it's illegal even more because because he's a gang member and since you know the 12 see that is stuff that people actually do as gang members like it just made them even hotter so trash talking charge pretty much said he called the feds not only the feds he called the uh, police department in houston texas wherever brick baby was at and also the los angeles police department so actually hold up hold up hold up i'm gonna play you exactly what trash talking charge said as he takes credit for the work of getting brick baby caught up with the feds Put the feds on Brick Baby. I keep telling you, I don't even think I'd be playing. When, when, when Brick Baby went to Houston and was playing on the internet and put that $10,000 stack on his head and indirectly said, hey, I got some money on Charleston Head. And he continued to act like he was pursuing me. I made a federal report, nigga. First, I called Houston and made the report to Houston, but I did this through my law enforcement friend. So, not only that, we filed a report with, with the feds in L.A., along with the L.A. County police. I swear to God, I'm telling you the honest to God truth, this is what I did. So, as a self-proclaimed gang leader, a gang member who has ties to one of the most notorious gangs, in this state, in this country. He's now going around telling all the gang information. They see the, the feds see he got a loose lip, so he may give up some information. Oh, I swear to God on my, I told y'all all I wanted was a badge. I got all the badge now. I don't know, I got a badge, I got a whole month uniform, huh? Oh, <laughs> already know so officer trash talking charles is still you know talking about holding true to his mission for the gangbangers to get as many locked up as he potentially can let me know some do y'all feel like trash talking charles what he's doing to the gangbangers is just bullying at this point or do y'all feel like i don't know he's actually doing something to clean up the community and i don't know man it might be good let me know some coming down below let me know what you think about this entire deal I'm out.